And today I want to show you how to use a uh, nice little tool that's included in the latest version of uh, Java 1.6, uh, which is available on your Macs and, of course, Linux and everything else. Uh, if your preferences are still set for 1.5, you'll just need to update the uh, Java preferences, which is in the Utilities folder. So the tool, uh, JVisual uh, VM here, is uh, what we're going to use to look at a uh, heat uh, problem that we're having memory error. We ran out of memory. And you can also look at uh, threads and things and try to demonstrate that. So I have a, a test app here. And it basically uh, keeps adding um, objects that I have here, just a, a dummy class here. I keep adding those uh, repeatedly to an ArrayList class. And uh, if we run that, <coughs> it will add, uh, keep adding all these elements and never makes it to uh, the 25% mark of our uh, total elements that we said we wanted to add. So uh, we can hear that, we see the heap message. And uh, whatever you see here, even if it seems to point to uh, a concrete class or something, this just happens to be where it failed in a particular allocation and doesn't mean uh, a whole lot. Um, because the only thing I'm doing is working on the problem um, classes, it's not going to demonstrate that very well, but it could be anywhere in your code, any thread, and it may not have a memory link in a particular thread, but it is the one that gets that heap error message, so be aware of that. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to rerun this uh, class now, but I'm going to add a set of parameters uh, that we're passing to the Java virtual machine. And uh, these particular parameters tell it to instrument your Java application. We've written no extra code to do this. It's part of the virtual machine, this capability. Um, one of the key parameters here is the port number, because we're going to use that for JVisual uh, VM here. So we've got to make sure those port numbers match up. Uh, for my test application, I have a little extra sleep that I've put in here uh, just so we have uh, more time to look at the problem. So I've launched the application. Now I'm coming over here and I'm going to launch the visualization tool, which will connect through the Java management interface to our application. And a new tab will appear here. You can see there's that port number. And uh, here's some of the switches that were involved uh, on our application. But the main thing we want to come over and look at is the, uh, the monitor here. And we can confirm uh, visually that the uh, memory is increasing. And over here we see CQ activity for that uh, class. That's very nice. Um, and you can also see garbage collection activity. CPU using. If you see a spike, that means it performs some garbage collection. Uh, sometimes if garbage collection occurs and it doesn't take a lot of CPU activity, you won't know that it occurred there. So the main thing I'm going to do here to catch this is we're going to dump the heat. So I'm going to click on the heat dump. Okay. This adds a new tab. And in this new tab, we uh, look at the summary, all that's all wonderful. But the real key here is to look at the, this classes tab. <clears throat> and what we will see is we're looking for um, very high instances of a particular um, class. And in this case, uh, you know, hash table entries and everything, that's part of uh, some of the standard classes. And these are... Uh, a little bit more difficult because they could be in a lot of different places. But this one jumps right out um, in my application. This is a class that I developed, and uh, I can see that it has uh, 100 in this particular case. When I did the dump, it had 170,000 entries. 
And uh, you're probably going to be able to look at that and say, hey, I shouldn't have more than 50 or whatever the number is. And you know that you've got a problem. Maybe you're not uh, removing entries or whatever the case may be. But I, I have found my problem child right here. Now, these numbers, you'll see they all correspond fairly closely. That's because um, this particular entry is put into a hash table entry, which also has strings associated with it, things like that. So sometimes these numbers will, will be tied together, and that'll give an idea um, also where that class uh, is being stored. I'm seeing that it's in a hash table entry. Here for the uh, uh, my properties. Okay. All right. Then one last thing uh, I want to show uh, real quick. It's not running anymore, but this thread tab is useful for seeing what threads are running and uh, what what state that they're in and. Because of this, it's kind of nice to name your threads when you create a thread. So if you look at the thread, when you do a thread new, you have the option to name your thread. And this, this helps out for that purpose, that you can see the see it here by, by the name that you gave it. And so that's a handy little tool for seeing uh, threads at work and sleeping and things like that. So that is a quick look at how to examine threads and also how to examine possible heap memory problems using the JVisual theme tool.